as an entrepreneur and a leader, you will have to negotiate with many, many people, your customers, your stakeholders, sometimes with your employees, for example, on salaries. And that is very important. So you should work on your negotiation skills. This video is going to present three important skills that you have to adopt to become a great negotiator. Hey, my name is Armin Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and I help entrepreneurs to become great leaders. This video is about negotiation. If you don't want to miss any of my content, click on the button below this video and subscribe to my channel, and you will always be informed about the latest trends, tricks, tips, and tools on leadership for entrepreneurs so that your business is actually taking off accordingly. Now, first, let's define what is a negotiation and I'm going to read this to you because I just couldn't learn it by heart. A negotiation is the following. A negotiation is a type of conversation between two or more parties with the objective of reaching a decision. Negotiations occur when both parties want something from each other and neither party can or wants to apply alternative forms of reaching a decision such as saying no, persuading, instructing, threatening, tossing a coin or giving in. So at the end of the day, a negotiation is an exchange of positions and you offer something to the other person and you are actually negotiating to come to an agreement about these conditions. So what are the most important principles of a successful negotiation? Principle number one, don't negotiate with yourself. Have you ever been in the situation where you have to negotiate something, uh, maybe a salary increase or uh, your rent or something? And before the negotiation, you're already asking yourself, oh, is this not really too high? Or uh, do I not need to offer something else? Don't do that. You define your goal and you go into the negotiation with your goal. Don't negotiate with yourself. Negotiation principle number one. Negotiation principle number two, horses for courses, or as the Americans say, there's no free lunch. So every time when you are asked to give something, let's say reduce, um, you, do, you reduce your rate, or you are asked to uh, add something to your service or to your product, always ask for something in return. There is no free lunch. Um, some uh, negotiators uh, just to keep the harmony and to uh, improve, they think they're, impro they're going to improve um, the relationship, they just give in too early. You just want, for everything you give, you want something back. That's a very, very important rule. And by the way, if you do that, you're actually going to be taken seriously as a negotiator. Horses for courses, principle number two. And principle number two, the principle number three, excuse me, is determine your walkaway point. So for every item that you are negotiating, know exactly where there is the point where you're going to stop the negotiation and where you're not going to give in. Define this very clearly and stick to it. And later on, if you have come to an agreement, never ever reveal it because you want to avoid grudges, you know, uh, with your counterpart um, uh, if uh, he or she understands that there might be that, that there might have been a better deal. So you don't give away your walkaway points, never ever. Principle number three: don't give away. Uh, have a walkaway point, excuse me, for every item that you're negotiating. If you can't negotiate, you, are, you will probably fail as an entrepreneur. So respect these three principles that we have just talked about. And don't forget, your negotiation position is always better than you think. Now, the LIFE program teaches you negotiation techniques and many other methods for great leaders in just weeks. If you don't want to miss any of my content, just subscribe to my channel. And if you like the content of this video, share it with everybody or uh, with your friends or leave a comment underneath. And don't forget, lead yourself.